The reason it's so hard to break a bad habit is because your brain spent a lot of time and energy making it. My name is Brian. I've been in the health and wellness world for almost 20 years, and I've been coaching pro-metabolic health for close to 10. Today, we're going to talk about habits. What makes a habit? A habit is a skill. If you think of it as a skill, it's a learned action. And all skills, all habits, share a similar property in that they take place up here in the brain. When a neuron fires, that connection of neurons that it connects to branches off, those all get fired in sequence with a certain behavior or a certain action. And if they fire enough, they get strong enough to fire more easily again in the future. So a habit and a skill are very similar in that if you're throwing a ball, if you're learning how to bat, if you're learning how to golf, if you're learning how to run, walk, swim, jump, climb, whatever, you're firing a sequence of neurons involved with that activity. And you're firing them enough times that you're get, getting better and better at doing it again. Well, the same thing applies to your habit. If I'm in a situation where that behavior that I'm trying to do is performed enough times, my brain's gonna say, oh, every time we're here, we do this thing. Every time we're in this situation, we make these choices. Those are learned neuroplastic changes that occur in your brain. And neuroplasticity costs energy. Neuroplasticity costs resources. And so when you're trying to change your behavior, trying to change your habits, you're trying to change your neuroplasticity. This is why motivation may not always be the best thing to lean on for becoming a different version of yourself. Motivation is very fleeting. Motivation itself requires resources. To sustain that thought process, to sustain that focus and attention, it's very easy for your brain to get tired of trying to do that. So if I'm trying to change something that was so resource expensive, by using another resource expensive process, I may run into the issue of never being able to muster enough motivation long enough to make that behavior what I want it to be. So instead of worrying about trying to make the change as costly as possible, I actually want to go the opposite route. I want to make the cost of my change, the cost of my behavior change, my desired behavior that I'm looking to either get rid of a certain habit or to adopt a new one. I'm looking to make the cost of that change as low as possible. And it's kind of counterintuitive because when you hear that, immediately what comes to mind is I have to make that change as small as possible. Because the bigger the change I'm trying to make, if I'm smoking a pack of cigarettes a day and I'm trying to quit smoking, going from a pack a day to no packs a day, that's a big jump. But if I go from pack a day to a pack minus one cigarette a day, well, the amount of change there is very, very small. So small, in fact, that your brain may not even notice you're making that effort. Or if it does notice, it doesn't require you to be in this huge level of motivation and commitment from the onset. The bigger the level of motivation required, the greater the likelihood of failure. And if you're not relying on motivation and you're relying instead on properly designed habit change, then the cost of change becomes very, very manageable and the likelihood of success skyrockets. If you want to change a behavior, if you want to change a habit, you need to make the cost of change significantly small. You want to make the cost of change manageable, cost-effective, affordable metabolically, so that you can do it again and again and again so that your brain learns a new way of firing. Habits didn't happen overnight. Changes won't happen overnight either. But if you start whittling away now, start making small incremental changes over time, over the long haul, with consistency, you'll be very, very successful in your change and very, very happy that you took your time. Hopefully you found this interesting. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys soon. Take care.